Good afternoon, student. I would like to welcome you to the class of mathematics, the topic of cycle and the subtopic of central angle. But before proceeding, I would like to remind you: make sure you subscribe on my YouTube channel, what you call Sunflower Online. Okay. Central angle. This is angle made up by using two radii from the cycle. Assume we have a cycle like this one. This one is your cycle. This one is the center of a cycle. If you have two radii, the first radii here and second radii here, then the angle made up by these two radii is what we call the central angle. If and only this one is the center of this cycle. So this is what we call the center angle of a cycle. And always it is made up by using two radii, the first one here and the second one here. Sometimes this central angle is what we call the subsidiary angle of an arc. So this one central angle, sometimes we call it a subsidiary angle of an arc. For instance, this one is a subsidiary angle of an arc AB. This is A, this is B. So I can call this angle theta as a subsidiary angle of this arc AB. So put it in your brain that sometimes subsidiary angle of an arc is what we call the central angle. But it is not necessary. Sometimes even if you have this arc AB and still you can find the certain angle, this one, this angle also it is a, an angle for this an arc AB, but this angle is not a subsidiary angle. So it is not necessary for subsidiary angle to be the central angle. Sometimes it can be a central angle, sometimes subsidiary angle it is not a central angle. For instance, this one, this one is not a central angle, although it is a subsidiary angle. So you have to understand it. Thank you. Apart from that, we are going to check another item here. It's what we call okay. Take a note that always the size of a central angle depends on the arc length. So when you have large arc, the central angle also increases. For the small arc, also central angle decreases. For instance, this one, have you seen this arc AB? This arc AB is too small, so therefore its angle here is too small also. But for this figure. Check this arc AB, it is so large, therefore, even this angle, it is so large. So, take notes, the size of a central angle depends on the arc of, depend with the arc length of that cycle. So, if you have arc lengths, large, large arc lengths, create a large or bigger angle, and the small arc lengths will create the small angle. Vice versa is true also, okay? Also, there's another concept, what we call the arc lengths, how we can how we can calculate this arc lengths. We know that an arc, this is a part of the circumference of a cycle, so how can you find the arc lengths? We're supposed to refer from the formula. We know that always cycle have 360 degree. The cycle is 360 degree, we can calculate its total arc lengths by taking the formula of the circumference of a cycle, which is called 2 pi r. We use this formula, 2 pi r, to find the total circumference of a cycle with a total degree of 360 degree. Okay, how about the length of a certain arc with subsidiary angle theta? For instance, this one. How can you find the length of the length of this arc A B with a subsidiary angle theta? So you're supposed to put certain angle theta. How about this angle theta? What is its length zero? Then by crossing multiplication like this one, you will find that L will be equal to 2 pi r theta over 360. Then, by simplification, you will find L equals to pi r theta over 180. This L is what we call arc lengths. Okay, let me shift. From the formula, arc length equals to pi r theta over 180 in which the theta is what we call the subsidiary angle or sometimes it will be the central angle as i said before not all subsidiary angle is the central angle so it depends on our case and this pi equals 22 over 7 you have to take it and also there's a work example here you need to find the find the length of an arc with a subsidiary angle this one at the center of the cycle or the radius this one. So this is a subsidiary angle where at the center of the cycle. So this is a central angle, right? Yes. Now we have a subsidiary angle theta. We have a radius equals to this one. We need to find the arc length. It is very simple. Just use the formula. Arc length equals to pi 
R theta over 180. By using that formula, you can find the power of work lengths as you see here. He applies this formula, L equals to pi r theta over 1h. So L equals to pi r theta over 1h. Your theta is 60. Your radius is 10 or 1h. By making calculation there, you will find the arc lengths will supposed to be equal to this one. So arc lengths will be equal to this one. Just plug the data from the given formula. You will find the length of this arc for the first question. But also we have a second question here. What is the size of a central angle of a cycle with the diameter this one and the arc length this one? From our formula, we don't have a diameter. And here, we need to find the size of a central angle. But we know that we have a formula for finding arc length, which is equal to pi r theta over 1.8. So what you're supposed to do, because we need to find the subtended angle theta, so for this formula, you are required to make theta the subject. So just make theta the subject because here we need to find the value of theta and not arc length. So how to make theta the subject? As usual, put this one over one, then cross multiplication. You will find that. Let us try it. Put this one over one and cross multiplication in order to make theta the subject here. Now we'll find 180 L. 180 L is equal to then this one times this one pi r theta is equal to pi r theta. Okay, our attention is to find subtenderly angle theta, so divided by pi r both sides, also divided by pi r both sides. From there, we will find the theta will be equal to this one, 1 8 L over pi r, 1 8 L over pi r. So this one will be the formula, as you see here, we applied somewhere, let me show you. As you see from this one, from formula L arc length equals to pi r theta over 180, then theta will be equal to this one. Since put this one over one, cross multiplication, you will find something like this. Okay, so if theta equals to this one, now you have to plug your data. So theta will be equal to 180 times L arc length is 4 given from the equation over pi times r. Radius is 6 because that they given a diameter equals to 12. So take it 12 divided by 2, you will find equals to 6. So radius is equal to 6 because we have a diameter is equal to 12. Then from there, I will find the central angle theta will be equal to this one through simple calculation. Let me shift. Also, there's another question here. We need to find the perimeter of a sector with the radius this one and the subtended angle this one. Leave pi in your answer. So this is a, another question. We need to find the perimeter for a sector. First of all, we know that sector always made up by using two radii like this one. This is the first radii. This one is the second radii. This is the center O. So this is what we call a sector. It made up by two radii. So here we need to find the perimeter for a sector. What is the perimeter? Just sum up the total lengths. So this distance A up to O plus O up to B, then plus this arc length. So the problem here is to find this arc length. When you're calculating arc length, if you have it, you can take that arc length plus this radius plus this radius, you will find the perimeter of this sector. It is very, very simple. Okay, let us try it. From our sector, we need to find the length of our sector by considering the formula. Length of our sector equals to pi r theta over 180, but the radius here is given theta subtended angle is given so just to plug your data and you will find length equals to 7.5 pi because he says that leave your answer with pi so after getting the arc length this one equals to pi then find the perimeter by taking the total distance length first radius plus second radius plus arc length this one plus this one plus this one will find equal to 60 plus 7.5 pi centimeter now you have done it is too simple something like this because this is all the cycle this one is the center so this is the first ready this is the second ready and the here let me call the center or let me call this is a and this is b so what you're supposed to do just take this one which is 30 
then plus this one, which is 30, then plus this arc length. Arc length can be calculated by using the formula because we know the central angle here is equal to 45. Okay, by using the formula, you can find this arc length. So at the end of the day, perimeter P will be equal to Z30 plus 30, then plus your arc length that you will find from the calculation here. So it is very, very simple. I think you understand what I mean. Let me clear it. Okay, so now it is a exercise. Make sure you solve these questions and I will mark it. I will mark for my time. Send it to me via WhatsApp. I will mark your work. Lastly, you my friend, you have to stay home. The situation is worse. There is a COVID-19. So take your time to protect yourself. But out of that, do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, what we call Sunflower Online. Goodbye.